Hey there, welcome back. Well, today we're going to have a look at the brand new Sonoff NS Panel Pro 120. Let's have a look. So really great to see this new form factor for the NS Panel Pro being 120 millimeters tall. I really like this because this is the form factor of New Zealand light switches. Can also be used in a horizontal format like you see there. Now this can be used as an all-in-one control hub for all your Sonoff devices and you can lay them out really nicely on the screen. You've got quite a lot of flexibility there. It's got built-in Zigbee and Matter. Now as far as I know Matter is not available on the previous NS Panel Pros, only this one. Now with Zigbee it can be used either as a, a coordinator or it can be switched to a router mode. It has this built-in temperature control thermostat. However, you would need to have an external temperature sensor and a relay to control your heating or cooling device. So having a look at the device itself, as you can see, I've got it in this little uh, desktop stand that is supplied or can be ordered directly from Sonoff. Now, if we look at the back side, all we've got here is two power connections. So there are no relays within the system at all. So it does need a live and a neutral. And very simply, you just connect that up and then it's all ready to go. You can remove this front panel and then you would screw it into your wall. So having a look at the device, as you can see, it's got a really nice bright screen. It's giving us our local weather as well as the time and date. Down the bottom here, we can access the camera, for example, that I've connected up to the device. We've got a little alarm system that you can set up. If you create some sensors, it will have a little sort of alarm that you can create. It's also got these voice calls, so I can dial directly to any of the other panels in my house so it's like a little intercom between my different rooms now these are some of the uh, sub devices that i've loaded up so i've got a millimeter wave sensor there measuring presence i've got a little switch here for a relay so you can have all of your devices from the sonoff network shown over here i've got a garage door opener link there and we've even got this thermostat over here now with the thermostat, you do need to bear in mind that you would need to create or add on a, a sensor for both temperature and a relay to actually control your heating or cooling device. Now, in order to go into the settings of this, you just scroll down over there. Um, it's got things like an alarm clock that you can set up. So in our settings, we've got access to our wireless network, Bluetooth, eWeLink account. We can set the time zone and weather. We can adjust our display, whether we want a screensaver or vertical versus horizontal display. We've got the language, the volume, key features just tells you about the features of the device. And if we go to about here, gives us the software update, the app version and the CPU usage. So of course, what you all want to know is can we run Home Assistant on this device? You certainly can create a web page which will link to your Home Assistant URL. Remember, you need to use the URL number. You can't, it won't resolve the homeassistant.local. So if we have a look at this device, you'll see how well the Home Assistant screen is showing on here. And from here, we can control all of our lights. We can scroll up and down really easily. And I really like the way that this tall format actually displays the Home Assistant information. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you found it valuable, please like and subscribe and let me know if you've got any comments in the comments field below. Bye for now.